So you've made it to the last trimester. You must be very excited about meeting your new baby soon. I'm Chantelle Oxley, naturopath and owner of Lemon Tree Health. And in this video, you're going to discover the final changes that will be happening to you and your baby in preparation for birth. You will also learn about the vital nutrients required throughout this last trimester. In this last trimester, you will notice that you're getting larger and this may make it harder for you to breathe. You will also be making extra toilet visits and you may experience heartburn and regurgitation and this is due to your baby pushing on your stomach. You may notice that you are feeling more swollen in your face, your hands, ankles and feet and you may also discover extra hair growing on your face, arms and legs and that's in response to a change in hormonal stimulation. Signs that your body is preparing for birth and your baby a straw yellow fluid leaking from your nipples as your breasts are preparing for feeding. This is known as colostrum. And you may feel some false labour pains known as Braxton Hicks contractions, which is also preparing your body for labour. During this last trimester, your baby is gaining weight due to its fat stores increasing. Your baby's bones are developed and their eyelids can open and close. Your baby may not move as much due to the limited space in the uterus and the baby's lungs are maturing and getting ready for delivery. The main nutrients required in this third trimester are calcium to support your baby's bone development, vitamin D to work together with calcium for the baby's bone development, but also to provide the baby's own sources of vitamin D and also for adequate brain development. Essential fatty acids to assist in your baby's brain and eye tissue growth and maturation. Iodine to support your baby's development and function of the nervous system and to provide iodine for your baby's thyroid function. Protein to support the continuous growth of you and your baby as well. A special note to mention, if you have a history or have a family history of allergies and eczema, it's important in this last trimester to avoid gluten and milk protein casein from your diet. And this can help to prevent or reduce your baby's chance of getting these eczema or allergies as well. I hope you're excited about the preparation for the birth and meeting your baby. And remember, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me and I'll see you on the next video.